Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is Jimmy Brooks. Thanks for stopping into the channel here. So today, I would like to preface this video with this is not a negative video by any means. I love everything about this CRF 300, except for one thing. There's one thing that I can't stand about it, and I think they made a mistake when they designed it. Kinda. We'll talk about it. But uh, yeah, this is not a negative video. It's just, you know, title for the sake of titles. <laughs> I made a, uh, a video called Three Things I Hate About the CRF 300L. And oh my god, the comments, they, they had a fit. I mean, it's, that's that's such a classic like uh, car YouTuber title, the, the five things I hate about. I knew it would get views, and it did. But go go look back on the channel, look at all the CRF 300 videos. Not all of them get views, but the ones the negative titles do, so. Uh, you guys need to stop, uh, you know, stop clicking on it. <laughs> but anyway, let's talk about, uh, yeah, the thing that I think could be better on this bike. I almost forgot my wallet, though. That happens. That happens every once in a while. Okay, so. So, so, so. Um, the thing that really is not working for me as far as using this bike uh, on a more often basis is uh, the gearing. The gearing for highways, specifically if you're like in Southern California, like I am. I don't know if you've ever been to the 15 freeway, but I mean, depending on, you know, where you are, uh, people are going 70 to, to 90 miles an hour, just on the regular. And, uh, oh, hold up, we got this light. No, no, we can still get this. Woo, woo. Oh yeah. So, um, yeah, they, this bike has a lot of torque, and it can it can totally hang in the lower RPMs, like like 5,000 RPMs at 70 miles an hour. I wish they had geared it that way. I'm gonna show you how fast this bike is spinning at 70 miles an hour. It's uh, I don't know. It's not somewhere I like to hang out. So this bike is so good in the city because it likes hanging out and chilling at like 50 to 60 miles an hour. But anything past that, it's uh, like, here we go. Like it's, it's so chill hanging out here, you know, 58, 60 miles an hour. And it's, you know, rush hour right now. So everyone's going a little slower. But I mean, look at even in the slow lane here, this thing is spinning 7,000 RPM to go seven, 70 miles an hour. And check this out. You can literally see the shift light coming on as I'm just trying to maintain highway speeds. That uh, is really annoying. And I just don't really like to keep my bike spinning, you know, at 7,000 RPM, especially a single cylinder like this. You know, if I wanted to go 20 miles down the highway here, I, I just wouldn't want that. It concerns me just having the, the shift light being like, oh, please shift. And, I, and gladly I would if there was a, if this was a seven gear sequential. Man, they should, that'd be kind of cool if they made some seven gear bikes here and there. Uh, this could des desperately use it. Or what they should have done from the beginning is make, ah, I almost made it. What they should have done from the beginning is make, uh, fifth and sixth gear way longer like this this does not need to be this short i mean i like that it gives me good acceleration in that mid-range there but yeah that's uh it's a missed opportunity they could have totally geared this down a little bit for fifth and sixth and it would be spinning lower rpms here okay here we'll go with a top speed here because it can physically do it like oh man we're going against the wind hard here so here's wide open Wow, that is something. 
incredible wind here. <laughs> I can't even hear myself. But yeah, maybe that's why they did this. It, you know, for conditions like with the winds going against you, or if, uh, you know, you're at a higher elevation, maybe this doesn't make as much, you know, power to the wheel if you're at a higher elevation state. I know these are made in Thailand, so, yeah, I'm not sure of the elevation of Thailand, but, you know, it could be higher. Yeah, maybe these things can't maintain. Maybe, maybe the, maybe the uh, gear needed to be that aggressive. Oh man, we gotta get out of this wind. This is, this is annoying. Here, I'll, I'll talk to you guys on the trail. How about that? Much better. Beep. <laughs> Windy day, but uh, yeah, I mean, I suppose there could be situations where they geared this, you know, to cover their bases for the entire world, where they're like, okay, we know this will have enough power in any situation to maintain 60 miles an hour. But um, for here, where people go in a little quicker, it, it would be cool. I mean, maybe that's just up to the individual on where you live and how much power this bike is making, just depending on the elevation. And for me, I, I mean, you know, I'm sure I'll get those comments of, uh, you know, just switch the sixth gear, switch the sprocket out, or just change the gearing all the, all the way around. And uh, that's a good idea. So if anyone knows of, uh, you know, some sprockets or a good, good oh, Jesus, <laughs> a good gear change for this bike, uh, leave, leave me a link in the comments or something. And uh, I'll take a look at it because yeah, I, I mean, I don't really even get in fifth and sixth gear on this. I would love to just change those gears, but I know it's easier to just switch all of them with just a sprocket change. So I don't know. I'll, I'll decide what I'm going to do here. I could just do nothing because I do have the XSR for highway. And I don't know. Sometimes it's uh, it would be nice to just be able to hop on this and go like seven miles down the highway, though. I've done it. I usually just go 60 in the slow lane and, you know, it is what it is. But uh, anyway, that's my only gripe. Sorry if that, that got a little ranty, but tis the nature of uh, wh what I do on this channel. It's just Ranceville. But uh, other than that, other than the, what's it called, the, the gearing on the highway, man, this thing's a champ. I mean, I can go, we can go fourth gear just over this horrific <laughs> banged up road here. And it just eats it. My favorite thing about the bike is just the, the torque down low, which is, you know, that was originally why I thought that this thing could totally handle some longer gears in fifth or especially sixth is because uh, even though like say like the Kawasaki the KLX 300 makes uh, more horsepower because it just spins up better um, this makes more torque in that mid-range so I think it could do it obviously we got that crazy tailwind going up that road earlier but uh, or sorry not tailwind headwind but um, for most situations, I, I truly think this could be hanging out a thousand RPM less at 70 miles an hour and the bike would be better for it. It would be like, uh, oh, you know, I, I think that's kind of where the, um, the 450 gearing sits. I think it's around a thousand RPM lower in, in top gear. Um, that bike would be cool, but you know, it's uh, double the price. This man, for half the price, this thing is so good. <laughs> so good for how much this cost i i forgot it's been a, over i think a year now or coming up on a year since i've had this bike um i kind of forgot how much it was it was a lot after like tax license and at the time they were doing a small markup i think it was like five or eight hundred bucks and i was like one of the first ones to get these bikes and you know it's cool it's worth it oh especially now because it's gone nothing but up from now um but uh, I, I know the base price of these, I mean, in theory, I think these are like $5,200. And gosh, if you could get one for anything close to that, that's, what a bike. It's, it's just such a good all around 
transportation device. So good. Woo. But yeah, like I'm in, look at that, I'm in sixth gear <coughs> on the dirt. <laughs> sixth gear does not need to be this short. There's no raisin, no raisins. So anyway, that's my spiel on the whole gearing situation with the bike, but uh, I'll leave you guys off with um, this uh, little loop I like here. This is like one of the last uh, trails that is not being constructed upon near my area. So uh, yeah, this is about it. This is all that's left. This and uh, the other place I just was, but um, man, they're taking all my trails, man. They're doing it, but it's still fun, it's still fun. So, watch them rocks. Alright. Alright. Come down into second here. There we go. Stay to the left. Up the little, well, not little, <laughs> up the hill. <laughs> alrighty, alrighty. Oh, turn it on around. Oh, yeah. Comes down the hill. Lean it on back. And then there's a lot of weeds growing in this little area right here where I like to go. But it still works. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. All right. Woo! And that's the loop. Ugh. Oh yeah. Oh. oh yeah. I'm gonna turn it on around with the. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh yeah! It's feeling good. Feeling good. Fun bike. Fun bike. So people rag on that soft suspension, but it uh, it just floats over anything the earth throws at you. It's pretty nice. We'll get a donut, and actually, I'm not a donut. I've had a donut. <laughs> I haven't done a donut in, uh, God, since the last time I did it for the camera. Oh no, there's soft dirt. I'm in my Converse today. <laughs> I'll try it out. Woo! Woo! Oh yeah! <laughs> Still got it. Still got it. All right, guys. Well, I think that's going to be about it for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys next time. See ya.